Hi guys, so continuing on from the previous video, uh, we looked at an example on flow out of a tank. We did part A of that example, <coughs> which was uh, finding the tension in a cable supporting a tank which had a flow out of it. Uh, in part B, we're going to find the force holding up the dish, which is receiving the flow out of the tank. Uh, so we'll do that now. Uh, so we approach this question in a similar way. Uh, we've noticed the question asks us about a supporting force. So straight away, as I said before, we know we're dealing with linear momentum. Remember, Bernoulli's equation can give us pressure, velocity, or head at a point. Conservation of mass gives us area or velocity, and conservation of linear momentum returns a force. So it's the only thing that gives us a force for a dynamic fluid. Uh, that is pretty much a complete summary of the past three topics. All you need to do once you recognize which one to use, well, that's it. You really just recognize what's, what there is to use and you use it. So um, that's the major issue with these three topics. Um, but we know this includes an anchoring force. So we, we have to go off and find it. We start off with the full linear momentum equation and cancel the first term like we did in the previous, previous video uh, because we know it's a steady fluid. Now we pick the control volume. This time we're looking at the dish. So my control volume is going to be similar, but for the dish, we're going to have that little inlet there just to distinguish between the two surfaces. Um, so this will be control volume two. And I said I'd do the control volume surfaces in black. So this surface here, um, is going to be the inflow surface, which is surface one. Uh, this is the actually the only surface we need to consider because the surface of the dish over here is a free surface with essentially no velocity. In reality, it is going to have a velocity, but because the inflow is small in comparison to the existing water in the in the dish, uh, we assume no velocity. Um, so we only consider the inlet surface. So this will actually simplify our answers. So this is a good thing. So applying the moment.